One gallon of paint will cover 220 square feet of a surface. A room has a total wall area of W square feet. Which equation represents the total amount of paint P in gallons needed to paint the walls of the room twice? Okay, so I know one gallon is 220 square feet. All right, writing that down. A room has a total wall area of W square feet. Let's pr pretend for a second that W is equal to, let's say, 400. 400 square feet for this wall. It's a very tiny room. <laughs> it's a little room. 10 by 10. And so like, you know, okay. So 10 by 10 room, 10 feet high ceilings, 400 square feet. All right. How would I figure out how many gallons of paint I would need? I would say, okay, 220 square feet per gallon. Let's divide 400 by 220 to see how many gallons I need. Okay, so there my W is on top, my square feet are on the bottom, and I would divide that, I would figure out how many gallons that I need. Okay, so we've got our relationship. We would have the, the total area of square feet that we need to paint on top. We would have the amount per gallon on the bottom, and that would give us how many gallons of paint. That was the process that we would use for this. So we're going to keep that in mind, even though we're going to be working with variables and not this just straight number. They haven't told us the number. We've just said it's just W. So which equation represents the total amount of paint P in gallons? Okay, so they don't want us to use G. They want us to call it P, how many gallons of paint. So total amount of paint P in gallons needed to paint the walls of the room twice. So let's think of that when we had our number. If that was 400 square feet in the room, how many would it be? Would we be painting if we painted it twice? It would be that 400 times two, right? Or 800 square feet. So we would take that square footage and multiply by two. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's with a real number. Now here's with just the W representing that number, whatever it is. In our example, it was 400, but it's just called W. That's an unknown number. We're painting it twice. We multiply by two. Same difference, even though it's a variable behaves like a number. So we'd multiply by two. Okay, now do we see 2w over 220 anywhere over here? No, we don't. And that's because 220 is divisible by two. So this fraction can be simplified. We can take this two out of both of them. So we can divide the top by two, and that just leaves w. We can divide the bottom by two, and that leaves 110. So my final equation is P equals W over 110, and that is A. Be sure to check out my math-related merch on Spreadshop or Etsy, links down below. And if you found this helpful or useful in any way, please help me help others. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.